our goal inside the Human Brain Project is to describe cognitive architectures that allow the human brain to perform certain cognitive functions, such as reading, language, face recognition, social cognition. Uh, what we call a cognitive architecture is the set of brain areas, their internal codes and their internal connections that allow uh, the brain to perform a specific function. So we selected a set of cognitive functions that are going to be studied by different teams throughout Europe and that cover a large span of the faculties of the human mind. In each of these domains, there are specific teams that are highly knowledgeable that are going first to gather the data, put it in the form of precise statements or precise data sets that provide constraints on the cognitive function and its eternal organization in the brain. And this will help the theorist in a human brain project build uh, both bottom-up and top-down uh, the set of constraints that are required in order to mimic this circuit in uh, artificial neuronal networks that ultimately will be simulated in the Human Brain Project's computers and ultimately will be put also into robots. So we may have a robot that recognizes objects or its surroundings or knows where its own body is and so on and so forth. So the logic in a nutshell is top-down constraints whereas many of the other Human Brain Project teams try to dissect the brain and reconstruct it bottom-up piece by piece. We try to go from a very abstract perspective to try to understand the function dissect the function, understand its principles of organization and hopefully we'll meet together into a single model.